from this unorganized, uh, you know, socially uh, challenged in terms of culturally and socially challenged. So it is uh, quite inspiring when you listen to them, and especially because I am associated with an organization which works on uh, the wage right and environment issues. So uh, and especially uh, Muslim women. So their life. You know, I'll tell you an example, like I was uh, dealing with an issue with a woman which was unable to produce a good quality product. And I was unable to, she did the sampling well, but she could not produce. And we could not understand the reason why she can sometimes produce good quality and sometimes not good quality. And when we actually look back into her personal life, we realize the kind of uh, uh, um, challenges she was facing with her mother-in-law, with her husband beating, with her husband having a second wife because she could not produce a son. The frustration and being always rejected. She somewhere lost the drive to actually do well. So sometimes when she was in a happy mood, she would produce good quality. And when she was like stressed from work and stressed from family issues, she would not be able to perform better. So we had to really pull her out and we had like discussions with the family, with, the, with, his, with her husband. We had to explain to him the importance of her working and contributing to the family. If she, because if she would not produce well, she will not get more work in the industry. So we had to like really sit and brainstorm ideas in terms of pulling her out of that uh, socially, uh, cultural, uh, you know, uh, what do you call uh, uh, barriers which is respect to like the husband beating and mother-in-law uh, always constantly uh, uh, criticizing her work and that uh, really helped her come out of it we, we worked upon uh, uh, actually we she after talking to her husband the husband actually took responsibility and uh, she he kind of made certain rules between mother-in-law and her and her husband and the children and now you can see her productivity improve so much more than what she was doing and hence she could make more money like I was sharing that story of our producers. So that's like how she has evolved and now they live like a happy family. Though they still live under poverty because of the number of children they have like eight girls and they still want a son which we, could, we cannot change because that's something which is very Indian. And, but I think it's still better that at least her mental health is much better than what it was before. Her financial health is good because she can produce, she can make more and make more money. So I think that was very inspiring because we always kept telling her that you know you're bad, you're bad, you're bad, you're not producing, we're giving you so much work. But we did not understand why she was not doing it because we did not understand her life uh, life situation, which we now have started actually looking into people's life and more deeply all our members we have like 350 400 women so it's going to be a very 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 slow process to look into each person's life and kind of make it uh, find solutions to help them improve in their um, you know in their work so i think that was that just happened last week so that's why i'm sharing but mm. uh, i don't know let's see mm. that makes any sense <laughs>